Satellite navigation has become an essential part of daily life in our increasingly interconnected world, enabling a variety of devices, including emergency response systems and turn-by-turn -turn directions. The Global Positioning System, GPS, which was developed by the United States, has become synonymous with satellite navigation, much like the way we frequently use the term Google to refer to a search engine. Nevertheless, it is not the only player in the competition. Another sophisticated approach to global positioning is represented by Russia's GLONASS, Global Navigation Satellite System, which provides distinct benefits and capabilities that occasionally compete with GPS. The story of satellite navigation is closely linked to military innovation and Cold War rivalry. In 1978, the first satellite was deployed, and GPS was born out of the U.S. Department of Defense's requirement for accurate positioning during the 1970s. In 1995, the system was fully operational, initially providing highly accurate positioning for military purposes while deliberately degrading civilian accuracy through selective availability. The modern era of precise civilian navigation began with the lifting of this restriction in 2000. GLONASS was started by the Soviet Union in 1976, and it was fully operational by 1995, parallel to the U.S. deployment. However, the system experienced a significant decline in satellite count during Russia's economic difficulties in the 1990s, resulting in its degradation. GLONASS was revitalized by the Russian government's renewed focus and financing in the 2000s, resulting in its full operational status by 2010 and becoming known as a viable alternative to GPS. The fundamental principles of both GPS and GLONASS are similar, but their implementations are different. These systems are dependent on a constellation of satellites that continue to broadcast signals containing their precise position and time as they orbit the Earth at precise altitudes. Trilateration is a method by which a receiver on Earth can determine its position by capturing signals from multiple satellites, usually four or more, and calculating the distances between them based on the time it takes for the signals to reach. A constellation of 24 operational satellites, as well as reserves, is maintained by GPS and is organized in six orbital planes. GLONASS employs 24 satellites in three orbital sectors. This unique arrangement shapes the accuracy and coverage patterns across many global regions. GPS satellites orbit at an altitude of approximately 20,200 kilometers, while GLONASS satellites operate at a slightly lower altitude of approximately 19,100 kilometers. In certain situations, particularly in higher latitudes, GLONASS can offer advantages due to its slightly different frequency bands and signal structures. The primary asset of GPS is its extensive ground support infrastructure and widespread adoption. In civilian applications, its accuracy typically ranges from 5 to 10 meters, and its signals are integrated into virtually every modern navigation device. The system's continual modernization initiatives and a robust network of monitoring stations guarantee the integrity and reliability of the signal. GLONASS is particularly effective in high-latitude regions due to its orbital configuration, which offers superior coverage compared to GPS alone. In certain situations, the system can provide faster position acquisition and achieve comparable accuracy to GPS, typically within 3 to 7 meters. Particularly in challenging environments, such as urban passageways, where buildings can block satellite signals, GLONASS substantially enhances position accuracy and reliability when combined with GPS. Nevertheless, both systems encounter comparable obstacles. Performance may be affected by reduced signal strength caused by thick vegetation and buildings. Both are affected by interference and congestion, regardless of whether they are intentional or unintentional. Furthermore, the ongoing maintenance of these sophisticated satellite networks requires a significant amount of technical expertise and investment. Competition, cooperation, and interoperability are the keys to the future of satellite navigation. GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and the Beidou system of China are all among the satellite constellations that modern receivers are progressively using. In challenging environments, this multi-constellation approach offers improved accuracy, better coverage, and redundancy. Both systems are being improved by technological advancements. GPS is modernizing its space segment with GPS-3 satellites and implementing new civilian signals, 
which provide enhanced accuracy and anti-jamming capabilities. GLONASS is also in the process of evolving, with the development of new GLONASS K2 satellites that will offer enhanced precision and additional signals. It is anticipated that this will result in a future rivalry between GPS and GLONASS. The rivalry is not solely technical, it is also influenced by geopolitical tensions. Russia's objective is to improve GLONASS as a viable alternative to GPS, which has been historically dominated by the United States. This involves the potential to enhance the competitiveness of GLONASS by expanding its ground stations globally. In regions where both systems are used, the competition may result in increased tensions or conflicts over technological superiority and control over navigation services, particularly due to the substantial investments made by both nations in their respective systems. The emergence of alternative systems, such as the EU's Galileo, China's Beidou, and India's regionally focused Navic, is altering the landscape of Global Navigation Satellite Systems, GNSS. This diversification may result in heightened competition among all of these systems, including GPS and GLONASS. Now, do you think GLONASS can ever beat GPS in usage? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.